Hello there and welcome back to Build and the Boys. Finally, we have had a delivery of the Disney Dolls house, so we have now got parts four, five and six. So we're going to build them. What I'm going to do is something slightly different, is normally I would do one video with all the packs in it, but I mean, because a lot of people um, are new to this and are kind of looking for specific stages to do, I'm going to do individual videos for each. So we're going to do part four first, um, and this will be... The table that we've got, so this is uh, the Wonderland dining table. Uh, and then the other thing we're going to do with this is we're going to use the parts that we accrued in 1, 2 and 3. And we're going to finish the door frame. Now, I've heard from a lot of people that this is incredibly difficult. Now, um, I get that because it, wooden modelling isn't, you know, for everyone. But I mean, I've been, you can see the things, I've been wooden modelling for years so I'm kind of familiar with with kind of what to expect. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad. Um, I can tell you something about this uh, doorway. I'll do that at the end. We'll, we'll put this together and we'll see if it is difficult or not. And um, we'll have a bit of a chat about it at the end of this one. Um, if you enjoy this, please give us a like. It helps the channel a lot. If you haven't done so already, you can hit the subscribe button and it will just give you an easier link to all of these videos that are coming up. So let's take a look at this one. We'll see what we're going to do. We're going to build the table first and then we're going to move on to the doorway. Here are all the parts that we get in part four. Um, so we get all these components of the table and not very much for the frame because we are going to need the frame we made in part three, the doors we made in parts one and two, and the remaining parts we have from part three are going to make the full doorway. Uh, we also got this little uh, cup and saucers. Let's get that out and we'll have a look at that. Here is our very lovely little Alice in Wonderland triple spout teapot uh, and the cup which I believe has Alice's dress design on it. It's very cute, it's very lovely. We're going to be getting a lot of these cups. Um, but again, I just think it's lovely. And, and everywhere you kind of look around the Disney Doll site, you're going to see things that are from the movies. And this does feature in the scene in the movie of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. It's a gorgeous little thing. Um, you're not going to need these for a long time, so pop them somewhere safe. Uh, I will show you how I'm keeping mine at the moment. I know this can't last, though. I picked up one of these screw organisers. Uh, this wasn't expensive, though. It was like five quid. Uh, but inside it, we have different compartments. So you can see there, I've got Mickey in his chair. I've got our Winnie the Pooh pots. And then I'm just going to start our little Alice section over here. So those parts are in there so they just stay because it's going to be a nightmare figuring out what pot goes with what and what plate goes where when this is done so little sections that's great i'm aware that these sections are going to fill up very quick so maybe we get a second one of these or we look at another way of doing it but that's how i'm storing mine if you're after an idea okay so to begin we're going to build our little table so we're going to use the large part here which is our tabletop and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install one of these long pieces now these are actually got, without glue, an incredibly tight fit. So I don't think you need to go mental on the glue on this one. So we're just going to put a dab of glue along the edge of this. Just a little touch. Because, honestly, you're not going to have to go mad. And if you are using super glue on this one, um, <clears throat> you really don't need loads. Because, like I said, it's tight. So there's no real reason to um, to go mental. So we're just going to use the technique where we're just going to smear this along here. And nice and coat along the edge. And that's it. I think that's all we're going to need. Uh, we're now going to apply this to here. Fit that in nice and tight. And there we go. So when that's holding without glue, the glue is just going to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, now, before you go and put the opposing long piece in, it actually is easier <coughs> to do smaller pieces. So we're going to do the smaller piece there. Again, these are tight. You don't, you do not need a lot of glue on this one. You really don't because these are that tight anyway. It probably wouldn't go anywhere. But again, just for the sake of maybe one day little hands will be playing with this, we'll add just a touch of glue just to hold it all in place. So we're going to smear that along there, along here, there we go. That's that piece in there. 
And now again we do the same thing with our opposing long piece, just a little trip. Smell this long hair, get it nice and covered. Plenty. that one in there we go and then finally our last piece there and that will be the edging of the table complete so again, just a little little drop again you don't need loads you really don't I mean this is good stuff so it will hold you don't need to smear it in this stuff and then you don't get all that unsightly sort of runoff but again PVA glue I, th I can I think probably would be okay on this one I mean it's holding firm I don't know how that would be for the legs but it's certainly, it's certainly holding from this. And that's it, that's our table edging complete. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the four legs to it. I've got our four table legs, they're all of the same, so it doesn't matter which one they go into. Um, and they are gonna go this way around. And again, I mean, I've test fit one and I can see that's tight. So you're not gonna need loads of glue. I mean, just the, a smear of this stuff is plenty. That's it. That's literally that dot is all we need because you just need to hold firm. Again, you're not. It's it's not going to break. It just isn't. So there we go. So that one's in there. Again, just drop a tiny little drop. There we go. And this is kind of why I like the uh, the power gel because. Uh, you don't get, it doesn't pour out like uh, your normal liquid super glue does. It, uh, there's a lot more control over it, so you can choose exactly how much is coming out. And these like two points here squeeze, so you can apply pressure to get a lot out. You can apply a little pressure to drip it out. It just means it's not going to pour all over the place. Like a liquid goes bloody everywhere when you do that. Whereas this doesn't. There you go. It just sits on top of the, uh, the leg there exactly where you want it, which is exactly what you need. Um, so we're going to pop this one in as well. Get our third, third leg in. Is that one in? Yep. And then leg four, and then our table is done, nice and easy. Now I, I believe this has lulled me into a false sense of security for a nice easy build to begin with. Because from what I've heard from the others of you that have built this, and the next stage is... um going to be a bit of fun and games, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not intimidated by that, but let's find out. Okay, so there is our table made. And rather lovely it is too. Um, happy with that. So that will be our dining table that is going to go in the Wonderland dining room. And that is that stage complete. So now we are going to move on to building the door frame. Okay, so taking our first parts, these are the parts that come in pack three. Now you do need to be conscious of there are numbers marked on these. So follow your instructions and use the ones that actually do. Start with one. We're going to apply one of these parts and it has asked us to use the narrow end. Now this is the narrow end because it's the narrowest. <laughs> Self-explanatory. So um, all we're going to do is this is going to slot into there. And we're going to hold that in with some glue. And that is all we're going to do for this part. So I'm just grab some glue up. Okay, so we're just going to pop this on there like so, and that's it, so that's it, so that's held, okay, there we go, it's fit correctly, nice and easy, okay, uh, we're going to repeat that same process for the next two beams, so I'm going to do that and I'll take a look at what it looks like, so that is with the other two beams and uh, support frame two placed in, and that's um, that's done. Um, we got to do this exact same thing again because we're basically building two of these. So I'm going to build the second one, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Because building the second one is exactly the same process, except this time we're using uh, vertical post C, 
uh, vertical post, uh, uh, sorry, vertical post C with um, vertical post D, those have got the markings of three and four. And so it's not the same build again, but instead of using one and two, using three and four. The thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of these pieces here, uh, and in the inner settings, we're going to glue this into place inside here. Um, and we're going to do the same on this one as well. So I'm going to add some glue just at, again, just a touch to the edges because this is tight. You don't need to slather this in glue. Just touch the edges and then we're going to apply this part. So it looks as those two parts complete. So this is now in place and they're glued in nice and easy. Again, they're very firm in there, so you don't need to go mad on the glue. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two fascia pieces uh, and there is an edge along here. We are going to glue these to the edge of here, uh, let them dry. And the same thing's going to happen over this side, and then that part will be complete. So I'm going to crack on and do that now. We'll take a look at them. So those two parts complete, and again, real simple. We just glue those to the edge there, and they will hold rather lovely. Um, so we turn these over. The next thing we're going to do is we have two panes of glass. Uh, the glass is going to be installed in this window and this window. We're not gluing that in, it just gets placed in, because when it goes into the frame that we're going to apply into, the frame will hold it all in place. So we are literally just going to place the glass in here. Now I have one of the glass panels over here ready. Now this does have a protective film on it. Make sure you peel that off or you'll get that weird kind of frosted glass look to it. But I can show you how easy this is to do. There's nothing you know complicated about this at all. We are literally just popping that in place. That's it. So we can do that on both of these. And then we are going to add both of those to this section of the door frame. Using the lip of your door frame as your guide for where this is going to go in. There you can see. Now I would advise you glue the door, not the frame, because you have to turn this and drop this into, into here. So you can support the window as it goes over from the other side and lower it into place. If you try and do it without it, you're going to drop the frame. If you've glued the frame, you're going to then glue your window. Don't do that. Um, so we can add this one and then take a look at what the finished product looks like. That part complete. So we've got our parts glued in. Um, I haven't got any glue on the window frame, which I'm very happy about. That's the reverse view of this. So I'm happy with where we are so far. Um, yeah, now, I've not really had any issues with this, so I'm assuming I'm about to add the doors. That's where the fun and games are going to start, because from, a lot of you have said that this is difficult, so I'm assuming that I'm about to get hit with a difficult part. So uh, wish me luck. Before we uh, install the doors, we are going to install the door handles, which... There's going to be one on either side, so one on this side and one on this side. So you will have the two that you got in pack one, and you will also have uh, the two that you've received in this pack. Now, I don't think my camera's going to pick this up, but we'll have a go. and We'll see what we can get. Uh, come on. There we go. You can see on the door handle, if I can get it in focus, there is indeed a hidden Mickey. Uh, so there's a Mickey Mouse head. Mickey Mouse head goes the right way up. You know you've got the door handle the right, right way up. Quite simple. Just two very little drops of glue on the door handle uh, pegs and then into this hole. Use the tweezers that you got to do that. Problem solved. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach our doors to the frame and create the hinges. Now to do that, I can show you on this one, we have... Focus. We have a, a pin hole. There we go. And on the top of the door, we have a pinhole there. And we are going to use one of the pins they provided us. It's going to go through the frame into the door. Once you've got that one in place, just a very small dash of the glue on top of there just to hold that pin where it is. And then you repeat the same process for the bottom. So we're going to try that with the first door and see how that looks. Have our first door pinned in place. I'm going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny spot of glue uh, just on here. Uh, I hope you can see this, just to hold that in place, so there we go. <laughs> see, I make mistakes, <laughs> uh, but I'll keep that in. So we're going to we're gonna clean that off, uh, and just smear it down just so it holds that pin in place, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the bottom as well to hold the bottom pin in place. Okay, so that is both of our doors pinned into place, so they are in there now. Um, yeah, happy with that. Um, I wouldn't say that was difficult. It's the most difficult thing about it is holding it. 
Um, so again, if you've got a second pair of hands that'll help you out here, it'd be a lot easier. Um, I mean, I managed it, but again, if you had somebody else that could hold it as you put the pins in, that would make life a lot easier. And I think maybe that's where some of you are, are having troubles with this. But yeah, second pair of hands would go a long way, it really would. Final thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, a kicker along here so the doors will only open inwards. And if you're thinking that's weird, that's because front doors open inwards, they don't open outwards. So it'll stop it from doing that. Uh, and then we're going to have... Um, a decorative piece that's going on the top there so I'm going to apply those now and we'll take a look. So we've got our bottom kicker plate in here, we've got the upper door lintel there and then so now our doors will open inwards but they won't open outwards. Happy with that. Now there is one final thing to do. Now forget the clamp, I've just got that on there so it doesn't fall over again because I don't want this uh, it's still taking a beat. So that's the inside view of this door. I'm really rather lovely that's looking so uh, along this section here, we are going to take this final decorative piece and we're just going to glue it in place. So again, I mean, just a touch of glue along there and then that glues in place. So we're going to do that and that will finish off pack number four. There we have it. That is our doors complete. I might love the R2. There's the table that goes with it. We are using these rather bizarre plastic clumps they gave us just to hold it up. That's the inside view. I'm really well lovely. Anyway, we'll have a bit of a chat about it. So that's part number four complete and our doors are done. So what can I tell you about this door? Well, firstly, you ain't going to touch this again for two years. Okay? So you have no use for this door whatsoever for two years. Okay? Um, I've watched ahead. Um to see exactly how far we go and i've seen up to issue 109 i think it is and this door doesn't make an appearance okay i've got a feeling this might be the very last thing we applied to the model um but it is what it is so why have we made it now well the reason why we've made it now is because this was part of the original test run so when they launch one of these part work models they release four parts typically just to see if, how it sells and, and get some feedback. Now, the other thing I can tell about this door is I assume that the feedback that they received was that this was too complicated. Because I'm telling you, this is the most complicated thing you build. Out of everything in the model, this section here, hands down, is the most complicated thing you build. I think maybe the Aristocats piano looks like it might be a bit of a nuisance. Um, and there are there's a little kite and there's some bunting as well that looks a bit fiddly, but certainly not difficult. Um, but this is complicated. So the other doors inside the house are not as complicated as this. The other windows inside the house are not as complicated as this. They seem a lot simpler, and you'll see that when you get to them. They they have they have fascias that just stick to the door, whereas opposed we were trimming the bits to size and and that's gone. So I'm assuming. That after the initial test, the feedback was that this was too, too complicated. But we've still got them for the test parts because the first four parts are the test parts. So if you can do this, if if you have managed to make this section, the rest of the doll's house is going to be easy. I promise you, the rest of the doll's house is going to be simple. If you can do that part, you've got the rest. So if you've made it to this part, well done. You're going to be good for the rest of it. Um, and that's what I can tell you about the uh, about the doors. Now, normally, if you've seen the other videos, we have a bit of a chat about Disney stuff at the end, and we will do that. But I'm not going to do this. Every, I'm going to do that on one of the videos each month. So the last one on part number six, we'll have a proper chat about some of the things that are coming up and and some of the kind of ideas and and some interesting things. If you like that, please give us a thumbs up and hit the like button. Um, and if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe. It helps the channel a lot and it gives you very easy access to where all these videos are because we will have a playlist so you can go and see all the ones you want. If you ever need help in a certain part, you can go and find it. So we'll be coming up again very, very soon with, uh, with part five. We'll see you then.